Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This message is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, welcome back everyone. And welcome if you're new, I'm happy to have you. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it, okay guys? Alrighty, Aries. King of Pentacles. Ooh. All right. So y'all focus on your yourself, your career, your stability, your foundation here. I see that the focus is uh, getting your money right or you got somebody. Somebody who uh, sees you in this light here. That you just focus on your foundation here okay ain't nothing wrong with that okay we got the five of pentacles somebody's missing you aries uh it's like someone feels like something's missing without without you with this five of pentacles here i'm gonna keep going Yep, they want to come in. Someone wants to come in and offer their cup here. I feel like we keep getting the same narrative for you, Aries. We got a water sign here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Wanting to come in and offer their cup because they miss you. And right now, they can tell you're not focused on them. You're focused on your coins. Mm. Okay. Yep. They've um they're focused on themselves too. They look like they've they're working on themselves as well. They went from the knight to the king here. This person uh is kind of looking at things a little bit different. They seem to have matured here. Aries, you have someone who's uh, willing to do the work, willing to change, because without you, they're feeling like, they feel like uh, they don't have enough here. This person is also focused on their money trying to get their coins right here sitting next to this five of pentacles okay y'all all right let's let's see what else we got for y'all okay so mm, y'all still have this attachment to each other this There's some kind of attachment here. When I see this card, I, I feel like it's that dynamic where both parties can't get enough of each other. I'm going to clarify the devil. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. We have all earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Please clarify the devil. See, uh, the thing is, this person may feel like they may have to come in and fight for you with this five of uh, five of wands. You got two fives here so far. This person, the, there's an attachment here. This person really is yearning for you. And they feel like they're going to have to come in and fight for you, Aries. Some of you have already moved on. Yeah, they're, they're ready to come in and give. They're trying to balance things out. You got the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a straightforward reading here. So I'm going to just keep going. Ooh. 
see they see you in a real positive light like they see you as someone who's driven and goes for what you want like uh very 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 business minded okay and just creative you you seem to come off as courageous very self-confident and attractive too this is your card aries it's the queen of wands this one goes for it and and also is very creative passionate enthusiastic exuberant attractive okay can also be very warm and Uh, I don't know. Very, uh, just a go-getter. Yeah. That's, that's why this person likes you. They're, this person is very drawn towards you. Is Your reading, for some reason, is all about someone else. Okay. Yeah. This person has a lot of pride. It's hard for them to... Even though they see you in this light, and they see you as as a prize, as a victory. You got the six of wands. You, you, now you got sixes here. First you had two fives. Five mean change is about to happen here. You have two fives. And then now you got the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. That's two sixes. The devil, which is 15, reduces to six. Okay, so they're trying to, they want to come balance things out. As this card says, they're wanting, if, they, if you were the one giving before, they're ready to come in and give here with the Six of Pentacles. Sitting right next to the King of Cups. They're, they're being like... They're being stalled, like they feel blocked because some of them think they might have to come in and fight for you. Like there's going to be a competition for you, even though they feel strongly towards you. They're drawn towards you. Uh, a lot of them have uh, ego, pride, their pride. The devil card can also signify that, like they're just too uh, proud. And to be honest, some of you, it may not come together for that reason only. This person is going to have to really uh, let go of their pride. They're going to have to use this Queen of Wands energy if they're if they're wanting to bring this back together. Because uh, to see these two kings, first of all, it's, and then you have the Queen here, these court cards, is showing growth you know, in both parties. So this is just showing that work was done. So if you were to come together, I see it could it could uh, actually work out, you know, with this card here. And then not only that, with this here. It's a balance. Things could work out. But this person would have to let go of their pride. That's what's blocking this connection. It's ego. Some of them feel like you would reject them if they came back. This Five of Pentacles show that. So some of them, they're just lacking that uh, confidence to come towards you. That's why this Queen of Wands came. They need to... Uh, they need to exhibit these qualities here, but they're being blocked by ego here with the six of wands and the six, I'm sorry, with this, yeah, with the six of wands and the devil. See, yeah, it can work. You got the 10 of pentacles. Wow. For some of you, it's you, it's your ego, it's your pride. This can definitely work out, guys. Oh my goodness, yeah. You all are dealing with a soulmate. This is like a, um, this is almost like a homecoming, a coming together. Wow. Aries. Look at that. 
I see a very, very happy ending here. This is a happily ever after, after turmoil. <laughs> you, the potential for you to come together is very strong. Somebody's going to have to really let go of this pride. Because look at the two of you. This is someone who's uh, worked on themselves. You guys can make this work. There's something blocking it, though. I'm going to clarify the Six of Wands because I see a victory. I see a happy home with this Ten of uh, Cups here. This is uh, divine love. This is like a blissful relationship, okay? This is harmony in the relationship, balance in the relationship, uh, alignment, okay? This is uh, values coming together. Okay, and with a soul connection here, you have the Two of Cups. For some of you, this is the person with the key to your heart here. There's a mutual attraction here. Both of you feel the same way about the other, so this is not a one-sided thing. The only thing blocking this is uh, action. Somebody, somebody's like fighting their inner, I guess you could say inner demons uh, just about reaching out. Like, I'm not picking up any other kind of energies here, like any third parties or anything. I mean, it's not coming up in this spread. The only thing I'm picking up is Someone trying to fight off, like, inner conflict, pride, ego. Please clarify the six of the lovers. Another six. Balance is trying to happen here. This is another, uh, like, strong connection between two people, the lovers here. Each person needs to be ready and willing to be vulnerable here. There needs to be like a, a talk here. You guys need to communicate. What's The reason this is not coming together is lack of communication. Because both parties need to be willing to discuss their feelings with one another. The King of Cups is uh, notorious for holding in. His feelings and not expressing how he feels. That could have been a block in this relationship before. But this connection, as uh, according to this card, it's these cards are supposed to come together. The, the two of you need to fight off all this pride and ego that you have. Because it's like, this feeling... Both of you are missing each other. And I see that this offer of love, it's um, its coming. It's on its way. It's supposed to be here already. But because of pride and ego, I'm going to keep saying that. Because we can't say it's only the other person. Somebody needs to initiate here. You got another six. Six is balance. Six is the coming together of two souls. Two souls, soulmates. Because each person is a three, is a trinity. Your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. You are a trinity, okay? So when you put two trinities together, together, two threes, you get six. That's why the lover's card is the sixth card. Okay? You have the six of pentacles, the balance trying to happen here. Someone willing to give. This person is ready to give to you. And then you have six of wands. This is a vic victory card. Okay? So you have all these sixes. You have all these balance. And then on top of that, you have the two of cups. This is talking about a union or a reunion here.
But what's blocking it is this six. Okay. The devil is 15. One five equals six. So. What's blocking this connection is uh, ego, pride, inner conflict. I'm going to let that set in because that's really what's blocking this. The two of you are not communicating. Each person is waiting for the other. And then you know what? What's going to happen is the waiting period is going to be over. The the um, possibility of reunion, that door is going to close. So if, if this is something that you all want, somebody has to make a move. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to jump into the extended. I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask who's a. Who is this blockage coming from specifically? Who needs to make this move? Aries. Does somebody do? Okay, please tell me what else Aries needs to know. Let's see what falls out, guys. Chemistry, see? There's a strong magnetic attraction here. The two of you are drawn towards each other. Is there anything else? There's, there's something else. Healing family issues. A lot of you, what's causing this lack of reaching out is is family issues some of you are bringing in issues you may not even know is there but I, uh, to be honest i think you do it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents some of you just have like deep-seated kind of beliefs about how love should go and who should make the first move and who needs to do this like it's these gender roles and these beliefs that you have that's blocking this connection a lot of you just were taught that this is, well, I need to wait because this person needs to make the first move. This is how I was taught. Like some of y'all have these kind of issues that's blocking your divine love. This this uh, feels like a very strong connection here, especially with this chemistry card. At the bottom of the deck, it says that uh, trust. Okay, this situation is calling you to have faith. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to jump in, ask for any more information. I'm not doing Aries through each sign here, okay? But if you want to follow me, the link is in the description box. Okay, that's what I have for you. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Another balance. Okay, it's a Libra card. I feel like it's going to happen. I think I see things balancing out. Somebody's going to reach out. It's going to it's going to happen. I'm going to clarify these pages cuz I feel like this represents you and this represents the person you're dealing with. Please clarify the page of pentacles. Somebody's going to reach out. Please clarify the page of wands. <laughs> 